I think technology has a massive role to play in making the experience a lot better. We've made a start by doing online check-in, but regrettably the queue for the bag drop is too long, so we need to automate the bag drop. We need to have some form of security mechanism that allows us to get through all the security controls a lot better. And for example, I, I travel 200 flights a year. Um, you'd think they might know me by now. I still go through all those check-ins and security checks. What I've seen in, in my market is a massive switch to online, online buying uh, in the public. But the, the scale of switch has actually slowed down and there's a bit of a plateau beginning to appear. Now what this is about, I think, is that some people are really happy to buy online. They don't want to go to the shops because they don't like being amongst crowds of people. And there's a separate bunch of people that love the social interaction of going to the shop and buying. But what is absolutely at the core of this is for agents to succeed in the future, they've got to work out what their value is. So for example, at home, we can access really, really rich veins of information when we do our travel research. The agent needs to replicate that and be better. It's about making it easy to go on holiday. You know, travellers need a lot more good information than we probably provide them today. And we can get some of that information from things like social websites, so things like reviews, you know, TripAdvisor, that kind of thing, where we can provide that information to people that are thinking about travelling. Interesting piece of research uh, I did a couple of years ago indicated that Switzerland was one of the most popular destinations for people from India. This is because there's a soap opera, which is shown on Indian television, that features a doctor's practice in a Swiss village. And they get to see on a hot, sticky Mumbai day in the middle of monsoon, cool mountain fresh air. And by goodness, that's attractive to them. If there's one thing I could change about my travel experience, it is how my passport gets used. Take into consideration a short travel through Hanover Airport. I use my passport to check in. I use my passport to go through security. I use my passport to go through passport control. And I use my passport to be allowed on the plane. And the girl that lets me on the plane is the same person that checked my passport in at check-in. How ridiculous is that?